Hello everyone and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. We're back. Uh, it's been a while since uh, we did a update on my day before, day after kind of remake uh, multiplayer zombie game. And um, I haven't really done too much. I've been ill. I've been I had some surgery on my mouth. Uh, I've been struggling to make videos. So you'll probably notice that the only videos that's been going out are like member episodes and things like that. So um, it's been a while. Um, so there's not been too much to update you on. So what I've been doing uh, in the last episode, we did the uh, the inventory and getting that working. And we're going to head over to the project and I will talk a little bit more about what I've done this last few days. Uh, it's not been too much, so don't get your hopes on and seeing loads of differences. But hopefully in the next couple of sort of episodes, you'll see a lot more differences kind of come around in this series. Okay, so we're back in the project. Uh, last episode, obviously, as I mentioned, we did the inventory and we picked up these items and got them into our inventory and moving around. Um, you'll notice here already, you've probably already guessed it, it is a storage box where the players will be able to put items. We've, I've also set up that it will uh, generate some items in there. Uh, I need to create a system where it will uh, have a probability system where it will determine what will uh, show up in these boxes, so whether it's food, uh, items, etc. I also need to determine whether they are player-created boxes or whether they are in the world boxes. So, for example, if you went out into the world uh, and found um, a random trash can that maybe had uh, a can of beans in, let's say, uh, that item can regenerate. If the creator, is, uh, if the player has created a storage box for them and their friends that doesn't respawn loot because otherwise it'll wipe all the current items they might store in there. So I need to create that distinction. Uh, but for now, we can actually go in there. It also does need replication. I'm working on that currently. As I said, I've had only a few days really of solid work on this again as I've been off. But uh, hopefully over the next few days, this will replicate and players will be able to put items in and take out and see that change uh, in game. Uh, but I'll show you it for now. I've also been working on the rest of the replication for weapons. Uh, so if I take over control of this player and I press 1 for now, because that's the only one I have set up for rifles, you can see now it will... Uh, you can see it. You should be able to see the this character shooting. If I oh, if I bring this one over here, just so you can see what the, the change is happening, I'll control this one instead, get this one to get his gun out. Uh, you can see that the firing is replicating now. Also, things like reload is also replicating as well now. Um, if I take this character over here, uh, we can open it up. Now, there's nothing in here at the moment. So if I go and pick up a weapon and bring it over here, I can oh, take this item and put it into here. Or if I bring it down here so you can actually see it, it can you can move it around in the storage. You can also rotate as well, so it all fits into the storage quite nicely. And if I try and bring it over here, it will automatically find a slot for it. So if I now bring this other character over, so if we take this one, you would expect it to see... Uh, oh, maybe I've left it in my inventory. Uh, let's take a look at this now. If I put this weapon back into here, close, and swap back over... You'd expect to see a weapon in there. Obviously, there's nothing in there at the moment because that replication hasn't taken place yet. But um, the hope is is that soon we'll be able to take uh, these weapons and store them simultaneously so players can work together to create their own storages. Um, so it's about halfway done I, at this point, I'd say, because the replication uh, needs to take place. But um, sooner or later, the hope is, is that these these systems will work together in that uh, multiplayer and um, we can get them taking things in and out depending on who's in what. Uh, and my other next option as well is to get these uh, equipment slots set up. Again, something that I need to do, but uh, eventually I'll have two weapon slots here and get those so I can drag them over here. At the moment, it just obviously drops into the world like it did in the last episode. So again, a very small... Um, uh, update for you. As I say, I apologize. I had to have some surgery on my mouth, and as a result, I wasn't really talking. And I'll be perfectly honest, 
I was not up to doing any work in video games and things like that. But I'm back on track now. We're in back in the project. I'm making the changes. And hopefully in a week's time, we'll see uh, weapons in players' hands and also storages working as expected with other players. Um, and once we've got the weapons in the hands, you know what comes next. It's the shooting. It's like doing damage. We'll be getting some zombies set up as well. Uh, I want to go for some more advanced zombies so they actually kind of make choices. They can path their way to players correctly. Um, maybe even get it that they can climb over stuff if there's enough of them. They'll crawl into cars. You know, do all that fun stuff that we expected to see in the day before. Uh, so hopefully you've liked this very, very short episode. Um, leave a little like, leave a little comment on things you want to see added to the game. Uh, let me know if there's anything you want changed. Uh, you know, any of that sort of stuff. And um, yeah, hopefully in the next few episodes, there'll be some more interesting things for you to see. I just wanted to give you guys an update to let you know what was going on with this project. It's not been abandoned. I haven't forgot about it. It's just I have been a little bit under the weather. But thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I'll see you next time. Much love. Take care. Bye.